Okay. <sighs> okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got surprised. <laughs> Okay, so for this video, we're going to be doing like the most common questions. This is like a very, very short video, okay? So mo most common questions have been asked for the coral. First one is the, if there is an age limit. As far as I am aware, there's no age limit indicated on the coral website. So you can just as apply if you wish to. And next one is experience. Do you need a working experience to be able to apply for coral? there's actually no working experience needed for that one however please note that when you have deficits or missing information during your on your um, educational qualifications coro will use your working experience to compensate for that deficit um, or trainings that you have done after you after you have graduated next is the thesis you actually need to provide the thesis that you had during your um, college years however if you don't have them or they were lost you have to ask your school to, pro to provide a letter or you have to declare it as a lost re uh, research paper sorry so you have to do a letterhead again ask your university to send it directly to koru for the thesis there is actually a minimum uh, required words um, will depend on your profession you can actually look on that one on the standards of proficiency guidelines of your profession which is uploaded in the web website of Koru. next one is OFWs from you actually still have to provide police clearance and a um, certificate of good standing from the regulating body of that country so it's like you have to get two one from your country and then one from the country that you're working in right now next is the verifications i have been asked clarification regarding this one this one so hey guys i'll i'll have to do the last parts in here because um, i had a low battery and the footage was lost so i was just apparently just speaking and nothing's getting got in the camera now let's proceed with the last two parts which is verifications now for verifications or uh, verification sheets this will prompt out when you have inputted all the details in your coro account so if you've done section one to seven and once you're done with those one an arrow down button will show up and th when you download those that's the sheets that you needed or in section eight it would actually show all of the document uh, the verification sheets that you have to download you don't have to get this notarized by the lawyer um, one of the tips that i can tell ask is that uh, i can uh, share is that when i had my example my verification sheet for the trainings that i have done in tub or, where is that one ge or siemens whichever company you can actually ask them if they provide a certificate of veracity and authenticity you don't actually have to get this one but if you can get it it's a good additional document on top of your verification sheet now another thing is that uh, I forgot what I'm gonna say. Okay, so another tip I could ask is that if you have a the certificate of your internship or placement, you can actually have those on addition of the verification sheet that you had for the placement part. You can you, these are not documents that you actually have to add, but good they are good to have as an additional document. And then the next one is that these verification sheets or plus the documents that you have to upload to Coro, you will actually have to ask your employer, um, the PRC or your regulating body or your un your university. This You will have to ask them to send this directly to Coro. This will serve as a secondary verification that the documents that you have uploaded are true and valid. However, on cases that they could you could not or they could not send this directly to Coro, you have to provide a letter and an explanation to Coro why they can't do it. For example, if your school has closed down, what, you have to go through the higher education and higher education of your country and ask what to do next. Or for example, the business or your employer has closed down, you couldn't get a COE. You have to inform this to Coro itself. And at the end of the day, even if you have ex um, explained this to Coro, it's still, it 
still depends on the assessor if they will accept it or not. Also, on cases where you have to say, uh, where they could not do a secondary verification or they could not send this directly to court, you have to get those documents notarized by a lawyer. Okay, these are the circumstances where you have to get them notarized by a lawyer. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the verification sheets. I think and then the next one is payments one of the most common questions i have been asked of this one is that why is it always having an error when you make your payments and i actually have no answer to that it's just that the website itself is very glitchy so one of the things that i have we have found that works is that you can actually make your payment on ireland time it's eight to five this is because the at least the it department on the website is up and running and the next one is that you have to make sure that your credit card or your card is has a third-party verification if you can receive an OTP before you make the payment. Um, this is actually inputted in their website that you have to have this kind of um, third-party verification um, on the uh, banks and cards that you will be using to make payments. The next one is that patience. You have to be patient and make payments all throughout the day and then if by luck it will push through really that's pretty much it if you really cannot make payments you can actually contact coral on this one the last one is that you can actually use credit cards and bank accounts not under your name as your payment and after making your payment just make sure to email coral and inform them that you have made your payment for this um, account for this coral recognition number i actually borrowed the credit card of someone else a friend of mine and i have informed coral that i made my payments but it is under this name blah 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 stuff like that so this ends my video and i hope that it helped you at least it's very informative and um i guess that's it and you, oh you could actually share this one to your friends if they're if they want to go through the process of Cory itself and see you guys in ireland oh as you can see, I have a very, I have a change of environment, so I'm already here for two weeks now. And it's very, very cold, despite that it's spring in here, it's still cold for me. And there you go.